two points. One is what is the current problem we are facing with the RDBMS systems? Okay, it may be problem of volume, problem of variety, problem of uh, processing. Those all things are problems what we have with the RDBMS. To overcome the RDBMS, we come up with the solution for the big data is Hadoop. This is our introduction we completed in the big data intro we completed. Then Hadoop, I need to install means I need to install a bunch of softwares. So I require Java, I need to install, I require Hadoop, I need to install something like that. We have a bunch of things. Instead of doing those all things one by one and configuring it, we have here Cloudera VM file is available that we're going to utilize it for our training room. The Cloudera VM file is available in our Google Drive. You download that one. In order to use that one, you required Oracle VM software is required. You install that Oracle VM software. Then you imported this uh, Cloudera VM you imported in the Oracle VM and we're able to see this kind of screen. We're able to see it. Cloudera quick start VM. Then first time users will be coming here and will be clicking on here normal start. Then it is going to start the uh, service. And once it is start the service, we are going to see this kind of screen. We are going to see it. This is our VM. This is our VM. Okay, now any top, we have the some kind of information things. Those all things you can able to close it. Click on this close button, then it will be closed. Now this is how I'm expecting. Once we configured your VM, it should be something looks like this. Something looks like this. Now what is Cloudera? Cloudera is a Hadoop distribution. Hadoop distribution. So Cloudera is doing that kind of job. It is doing it. It's competitors of this Cloudera are Artinworks, MapR. These are the competitors we have. It. These are the three major providers of Hadoop distribution okay people who are saying as hey i'm working on the big data stack then they must be working on one of these three things one of these three things okay now we are going with the cloud era we are going with the cloud era and and once you learn the cloud era if you go map or if you go whatever it is doesn't matter doesn't matter all the things are same it's like you are using MS Office or you're using Google Sheet. Doesn't matter if you MS Office Excel or Google Sheet Excel, doesn't matter how you are doing the work here, similar way you are going to do over here also. There is no difference. There is no difference. Literally here also in the cloud era, once you work it, tomorrow if I ask you to work with the map or distribution, then you not worry about it. Everything is same. You'll be able to work from day one onwards. OK, now. As you know. We are going for everything is open source softwares. That means you don't want to pay any one rupee also for licensing purpose. In that context, big data generally. 100 percentage we are going to use backend operating system as Linux flavors. Because if you go with the Windows, we need to pay the money. That is the reason we go with always Linux flowers only will go. Being a data engineering, I don't expect you people to know each and everything in the Linux. All you need to know is how to create the folder in the Linux, how to create a file in the Linux, how to copy file from one place to another place, how to delete one file, how to delete one folder, OK, how to search for something, something one file you want it, how to search for it, where it is available. This kind of basic stuff in Windows environment, how you are doing it, right? You're a basic user. The moment you logged in, you will be organizing it. You'll be organizing it. OK, these all are uh, my personal works. These all are my professional works. Something like that will create the folders and we'll be organizing it, right? Similar kind of thing I'm expecting here also. So the basic commands today we are going to target and we'll try to complete those basic commands. We're going to complete it. OK, this is the window. If you want, you can 
uh, adjust left side or right side, you can able to adjust it. So this is a mission inside my main mission. This is a mission inside my main mission. Right now, let me go to the let me go to the your nodes. This is your nodes, and here we are going for Linux dot MD is available. Let's open this Linux dot MD. If you observe closely, first one is available Linux distributions. So Linux distributions also providing by so many uh, versions, whatever you can call it, that is your versions or types or kinds or flavors. Different people will be calling different styles, but at the end of the day, these are the Linux flavors which are available. So Ubuntu is on flavor, okay, and Debian is on flavor, Red Hat, Fed or something like that. We have it. In this one, last one, you can notice here we have the sent OS is available. Sent OS is available. Actually, our VM, whatever available, right? Whatever we have, our VM, this VM is installed using backend as sent OS. Using backend as sent OS. Okay, right. <clears throat> now, if you want to know, is it what is the version of the CentOS? Uh, those are Linux information. If you want to know, you can able to know that one by using some command. I think I did not given the command here, but you can able to search it. Uh, let me go and try to search it here. Suppose how to know how to know CentOS version version. OK, so we are we are using CentOS that much I am aware of it. So if you want to know what is the CentOS version, we have here cat etc CentOS release is available. You can type this one inside the cloud era, uh, screen in the top. We can see we, we have the terminal window in the top. You can see we have the terminal window. If you click on this terminal window, then we are going to get. This is the terminal window and maximize this one so that it is visible and this letters also not that much convenient you can increase the size of this letters if you want you can go to the you can go to the view there is an option called as zoom out and zoom in is available so click on here zoom in okay two or three times as much as you feel comfortable okay now we are able to see this as much readable now and whatever we have this cat etc that what i am trying to paste here let's try to observe what is the version we are using now sent OS. the version is available here 6.7 so sent OS is what it is it's a linux distribution or not sent OS is what yes linux distribution sent OS is linux distribution right now that Linux distribution as we are using, so it is free of cost for you. We do not pay any licensing cost for the operating system and all. OK, right. So let me write this command also for you so that later you can able to utilize it. So. Right now. Also, I given the command in the notes. So later point of time, if you want to execute and if you want to observe what is the uh, type of this one, you can able to see it. Cat etc sent OS release at ECT sent OS release. OK, now second point is available that's called as directory. I want to speak about directory is nothing but folder. It's simple as long as we are using this so many times. In Windows operating system folder we're using, right? Same folder. But problem is using this terminal window, we want to control the folder. I want to know first what is my present working directory here? What is Cloudera and what is Quick Start? We have two words are available Cloudera word. Second is available, Quick Start is available. Cloudera is available and Quick Start is available. So what is your Cloudera and what is Quick Start? OK, so how to know how to know current user in sent voice. So whatever you want it commands, you just type it. Surely you are going to get the command. We are going to get it. You can see here who am I? Who am I is a command. Suppose if I go and try to type here who am I, then 
we will be noticing here we are getting here cloud error. That means what is the username with what user we logged in? With what user we logged in? Cloud error. Yeah. Now if you type here ID, there is one more command also available. You can notice ID is available. Another way to know the current user is to use the ID command. This command will print the user ID and group ID of the current user. Current user. Now we also have, you can also use the get ENT is one more thing. Let us say we have here now ID is cloud error. Group ID also cloud error. Group also cloud error, something like that. Everything is cloud error is available. This is, we did not create this VM actually. We downloaded from the cloud error and we are utilizing it, right? So he's promoting his brand also with the name of cloud error. He given everything, username, group ID, everything he given. Cloud error only he given. Now, <clears throat> now we also have here get ENT. Then you'll see here get ENT is okay, get ENT wrong command. Z E T E N T. Okay, somehow it's not working here. That's fine. So get ENT password sent OS. Okay, something like this we need to type it looks like. Get ENT. Something like this you need to type it. So let's try to type it and we're able to see the corresponding things. Now what I, it's not displaying uh, properly. It's OK. What I want is my question is. With what user I logged in? With what user we logged in? We come to know by using what is the command? Who am I? Or you can use oh, what is this? ID, we can use it. Either we can use who am I, or we can use ID so that we come to know with what user logged in. Now, you understand whatever it is showing here, CloudEra quick start. In this one, CloudEra is what? Username. And what is this quick start? What is this user. quick start? The quick start is the name of the computer, the name of the computer. Normally, in our Windows operating system, if you go to here, if you type info, if you type here info, you'll see the computer name. We are going to see it, right? Here, computer name in my main mission computer name is, you can see here, RRA Tech. What is my main mission computer name? RRA Tech. Similar to that one, this Linux also has computer name. This computer name is called as Quick Start. The computer name is called as quick start. If you want to see command wise, you want to see, you can go on, you can write here how to know um, computer name, computer name, how to know computer name in sent OS. So we are going to see host name. Just you type here host name. We are going to get the what is the computer name. You are going to get it. For example, we are trying to type here host name. There it's showing as quick start dot cloud era is the computer name from this the first part it is taken here and it's saying as quick start why you got it dot cloud era is because i logged in as a cloud era okay anyhow now what i want to say is whatever you are seeing these two words first word is what username second word is what computer name second word is what computer name now I want to understand where I am, where I am. What is the meaning of this tilt symbol? We have something called as tilt symbol, right? What is the meaning of the tilt symbol? Okay, where, where it is pointing to? Just go for here, PWD. PWD is nothing but present working directory. Present working directory, which folder I am, which folder I am. So this tilt is, this tilt is always points to your home cloud era. If you are seeing a tilt symbol meaning, you are seeing a tilt symbol meaning, you are pointing to what? Slash home slash cloud era, you are pointing. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So next we need to go for, I want to create a folder under this cloud era. I want to create it with today's date, with today's date. Then we have a uh, we have a command that is called as 
mk directory is a command we have it so now we are decided to create the directory to create the directory we have the command called as mk directory mk stands for make directory stands for directory make the directory make the folder nothing but make the folder we can create the folder simply mk directory and provide the folder name and if you want to create multiple folders at a time you can specify directory name one directory name two directory name three something like this you can specify examples also i provided if you want to create the subfolders subfolders also for example you want to create the district folder but district should be inside the state state should be inside the country like that you want to create the subfolders you need to use iphone p iphone p iphone p means parent folders parent directories even though this parent directory country is not available first it creates the country then it creates the state then it creates the district something like that okay now once you created if you want to remove the directory we have the option called as remove the directory so we need to specify the name of the uh, thing but if you want to remove the directory make sure there is nothing is available inside this one okay it should be empty if anything is available inside that one if anything is available inside that one this command will not work okay that means any file is available this command will not work you need to make sure the folder is empty then only you can able to remove that directory now remove the non empty directory suppose you want to remove the directory but which has the files also available then you have to use other command which is known as rm here there is a meaning for iphone r r stands for recursively recursively means it will go on try to delete entire things of folders those all things also it, it is going to delete f stands for here forcefully f stands for here forcefully is going to delete it won't ask any confirmation you want to delete this file you want to delete this file something like that it won't ask any confirmation simply it will go and try to remove it remove it removing multiple directories at a time we can use here rm directory and we can say as d1 d2 d3 something like that pwd just now i explained is nothing but present working directory or print working directory both are one and same now cd is if you want to change the directory from one location to another location we are going for change the directory cd and you can specify here which directory you want to navigate the home directory is nothing but tilt symbol wherever available that tilt symbol is nothing but what home directory just now we noticed we are seeing the tilt symbol and we are seeing the slash home slash cloud era we are seeing it if i ask the present working directory okay this is how the directory shape will be there wherever you see the slash that means that is called as that is called as root directory or beginning of the beginning of the os under that one we may have so many folders first level under that one we may have second level of folders third level fourth level it continues it continues it's like our normal hard disk has c drive and d drive two partitions inside the c drive we have the program files program files inside we have the microsoft office inside that one so many things available right how we have the folder structures here also we have similarly that folder structures are available okay now your single dot represents the current working directory double dot represents the directory one level above the current directory you will be able to understand why i am doing this one now some cd options are available if you want to cd just you say tilt it'll come to the home directory wherever it is available doesn't matter cd dot dot means it brings to your parent directory cd slash it takes you to the entire system's root directory root directory is nothing but this is a slash is called as root directory it will bring to here wherever you are available doesn't matter the moment i say cd slash will come to the root directory cd dot dot slash dot dot means it will move two levels up it is going to move two levels up it is going to move okay if big command is available if you want to complete that linux path just you have to use your uh, tab you have to use it then automatically it will be complete the remaining code it is going to complete it what is the keyword we have to use tab. if you use the tab, tab. 
yeah then it is going to complete the code it is going to complete for you let's try to uh, do till here then we'll move on to move on to the next one man and help man and help is actually it's simple it is a help document kind of thing manual man stands for manual okay if you want to know more information about man you can able to know it and if you want to know more information about the help you can able to see the help also first priority give to the help help is not enough then go for the man okay help is the uh, first level of the information man is a full level of the information like in our python we are putting single question mark double question mark single question mark is what talk string double question mark is what doc string plus actual code behind it actual code behind it similar to that one here also we have two types of help one is help second is called as man man is nothing but manual manual it's full information is going to give it okay let's try to see these things now i am here let me maximize this one i maximized it now we want to we want to clear the screen to clear the screen we can use the clear clear the screen we can use it now everything is clear i would like to go for i would like to go for pwd again present to working directory or print to the working directory i am in this location now in this location i would like to create here one directory i would like to create it so we are saying as mkdir we are saying then we'll try to provide the name of the directory we'll try to provide i'm providing i'm providing we are creating inside the linux path we are creating so let's try to provide as l l stands for linux path and all i am using small letters only i am using it all i am using small letters only i am using it and linux operating system is case sensitive okay now we are going for linux we are creating so it is a batch 2403 this is your batch now we created one folder l stands for year linux b stands for year batch 24 is the year 03 is the month something like that i created now i want to go into this folder if you want to go into this folder we have the change directory is available just type here cd then lb i don't know remaining names or i don't want to type the remaining name then you can use tab from the keyboard then automatically it is going to fill for you no need to type it then enter we are able to see now it is change of the directory you can see now lb2403 earlier we are seeing what tilt symbol we are seeing now we are seeing what lb2403 it's nothing but it is nothing but we are in the directory called as now slash home slash cloudera lb2403 we are lb2403 we are so we created successfully a folder we created now inside this folder do I have anything means i have nothing to see the list of files whatever available we can use ls and we can see all the more information you can type here l t r h i will talk about what is l what is t what is r what is h i will talk about it as of now i am executing that one now you see a total how many files are available inside this one zero zero as of now no files are available if you want to see the what we have the content inside this folder we can go for simple ls also we can go but ls will not give much clarity information that is reason we are using ls ltrh we are using okay what is ltrh we'll talk about it uh, next things now you created a directory you created you created a directory you created inside this directory suppose i want to create here multiple directories i want to create it before going for multiple directories even i want to see what is the help document first time you are using mk directory first time you are using mk directory you don't know the syntax nothing you know then you can enter here mk directory help means it is giving the help document clearly it's saying as uses uses is mk directory then option we have to provide it then we have here options are available option arguments are available here uh, m m stands for the mode p stands for your parents v stands for your verbose something like that these are the things what it is going to accept and the purpose of this one is creating what 
directory if they do not already exist if it is already available it won't create it it will be silent if it is not available then only it is going to create it now by reading this uh, documentation you are getting basic information what you required or not yes yes now any function or any command you don't know just you type the command give one space then two times iphon then write the help here then it is going to write the help document for you okay now inside this folder i want to create now mk directory three folders i want to create it for example d1 d2 d3 now you write here ls iphon ltrh now we'll see here how many folders are available earlier nothing is there but now we are seeing here d1 d2 d3 three folders are we are seeing it inside this one i want to remove the one of the directory for example rm directory then we say d1 then it is going to be removed now if you type here same ls iphon ltrh we are seeing now d2 and d3 only we are seeing it d2 and d3 only we are seeing it because we removed one of the directory we removed one of the directory that is called as r1 directory we removed it so you can notice here rm directory d1 directory we removed it okay now i want to create here i want to create here something iphone p using i want to create it iphone p stands for what here parents no error if existing make parent directory as needed make parent directories as needed that's what the meaning of iphone p we'll try to utilize that one for example we are writing here mk dar then iphone p then we are trying to write here uh, country folder. We are trying to write here country folder, then state folder, then district folder, something like this we are provided. Okay, country, state, district, we are saying it. Now, go and try to observe here LS. Now we can see we got here country folder, we got it. Go into the country, go into the country and see what is available. I'm in the country, now I'm typing here LS, we are seeing what? State. Go into the state and observe what we have it. Now we can observe, we have inside what? District is available. So the moment you say here iPhone P, the moment you say here iPhone P, it is going to create the parent directories if it is not available. District parent directory is what? District parent directory is Country. what? Country. District parent directory. District parent directory is what? State. State. State, state parent directory state. is what? Country. 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 So country is not there. State is not there. Both it is created for you and we are able to see it here. That's what the purpose of this iPhone P, whatever we have it. Okay. Now we understand MK directory. We understand RM directory very clearly. Now let's say one sample file I would like to create and I'll see how I can delete that one. It is allowing or not. I want to come two steps back. So I'm in the, at present now in the state folder I am. I'm in the, in the folder called as state folder I am. I want to come one step back, then I can write here dot dot. I want to come two steps back, then I can write here slash and again we can write here dot dot. One more step back you want, then one more time you can write here slash and you can type here dot dot like that. How many steps you want to come back, you can come back like that. Suppose I am in the state folder, one step back means where I will come? Country folder. Let Country. us go and try to observe. Sorry, I think I did not give any here space. Now you can notice here country folder, we are able to see it. We need to provide after CD some space you have to provide, then you have to write here two dots. Now, again, I am writing here CD dot dot, I am writing it. Then we are able to see LB2403, we are seeing it. This is what our initial folder. Inside this folder only, we have these all things are available. We have these all things are available. Now, I would like to go for creating one sample file inside the d2 or d3 anywhere let's say i want to create one sample file 
to create the sample file first i am going to the cd d2 now see here inside this one nothing is available i want to create one sample file let's try to say as a touch file touch file i am creating the touch file is test dot okay uh, csv something like this i am trying to create it now if you see the ls now we are able to see test dot csv the touch command is useful. The touch command is useful to create the empty file. To create the empty file. So we created now empty file. The file name is called as what? Test. What is the extension of this one? CSV. CSV stands for comma separated values. Generally, it is called as delimited means by default, people are thinking like comma separated. Okay, but we have other delimiters also available like pipeline, tilt, whatever you want, you can able to utilize it. Now, I want to delete this D3 fo D2 folder. I want to delete it. Will I able to do it? If not, what to do? Let's say I'm trying to use here RM directory. Then I say D2. What is the error message saying? Fail to remove D2 directory not empty. Why it is not able to delete? Because D2 directory has one file. We see the help document. We have the help document of RM directory. If you observe the help document, it's showing clearly RM directory help document. So it's saying as remove the directory if they are empty. Remove the directory if they are empty. But in our case, D2, D2 is not empty. Inside the D2, what we have? One single file is available. That file name is test dot csv file is available that is the reason it's not able to delete that one okay let's go and try to let's go and try to delete that one using rm we have the rm let us try to observe here help document rm iphone help rm iphone help is having so much of information from here it started you can notice rm iphone help after that we see here remove the files remove the files now we have here iPhone F. iPhone F stands for what? Force. Ignore non existent files, never prompt. It's going to, just like that, it's going to remove it. Just like that, it's going to remove it. Here R stands for recursively. Recursively means what? Remove directories and their contents recursively. Recursively means it go to the subfolders, subfolders, subfolders. All the subfolders will go and try to delete recursively. Okay, right. You can use here small or you can use or you can use here capital or you can use or you have the time you can type entire recursive word also you can type here here also you can use small f you can use entire force word also you can use it but there is no capital f for this okay whatever way document is available in that way we have to write the command no questions to ask why iphone f is not working capital f is not working because it's not given it's not given in the help document so now let us go and try to let us go and try to remove this one right i want to remove the i want to remove a folder called as d2 simply i am saying as d2 i am saying let's see what happens the moment i type here remove d2 cannot remove d2 is a directory it's saying something like this simply if you're writing like this then it's saying as i'm not able to remove it because it's a directory it's saying Okay, I know that one. It's a directory, but still you have to delete means you have to write here iPhone. Then you have to write here R. R stands for recursively you want to remove it. If you type like this, then it's showing here. Uh, yeah, it's saying as descend into directory D2. Okay, say S. Yes, then enter. Now it's asking here remove regular empty file d2 test.c this is what called as recursive meaning right you can observe here d2 level it is verifying and it is also verifying d2 inside what we have test.csv it is going and is verifying tomorrow i have so many subfolders are available one by one subfolder will go one by one file will try to remove it but it is headache right so suppose tomorrow i have 100 files are available 100 times it is going to prompt for you like this 100 times is going to prompt for you. We have to say, yes, I want to remove the D2. I want to remove the this file like that. I have to type the S, yes, yes, I have to type it. Okay, if you want to type here, yes, yes means it's 
full boring job full boring job now now it is removed it's okay but i want now without asking any questions from my side it has to remove everything then we have to use not only iphone r along with iphone r we also need to use iphone f also iphone f stands for what iphone f stands for what force force Forcefully. Forcefully, we have to remove that at that moment. It won't prompt you. You want to remove this one. You want to remove this one like that. It won't prompt. Forcefully, it is going to remove. Let's try to create one more touch file. I am going into the D3 directory. Then I am trying to create here one touch file. I am creating with the name of test one dot txt txt file. We are trying to create it. Now we see we have one file is available. I want to come out of one step. Then you see here we have the D3 folder. I want to remove now D3 folder. I want to remove it. This time I am writing here iPhone R F. Then we are saying as D3, we are saying it. Then enter. Now we'll see is it any questions asked? No questions asked, but D3 folder is removed. Removed. Inside the D3 folder, whatever file you created, that file also removed. That's what the meaning of iPhone R and F. R stands for recursive. F stands for recursive. Yeah. Now that's what the meaning of here RM, RM directory, MK directory, and all. Now we'll talk sometime about the CD. CD. CD stands for change directory. Suppose CD, then we written here slash. Now if you ask here PWD, we are seeing here present working directory as slash slash means what only slash means what what directory it is called as technically root directory root. r o o t root root directory generally most of the cases as a developer you may not have access to root directory that means directly under the slash you will not able to create any files any folders anything okay even in, in our windows operating system also most of the companies under the C drive, under the C drive directly you want to create one file. It won't allow. They will restrict like that. D drive OK, but C drive is for the purpose of installations purpose, right? Program files installations purpose. That is the reason we will not allow any uh, files to be stored under the C drive. Here also root directory, root directory below mostly you will not have access to create any files and all. OK, slash meaning here root directory slash meaning here what root directory now i'm going for here cd then we are saying as tilt symbol enter now if you go for pwd we're able to see slash home slash cloud era tilt symbol is what user home it is called as user home what user mine mine cloud era is a user cloud era home it is it's showing what cloud era home wherever you are doesn't matter meaning whichever folder you are doesn't matter the moment you type here cd slash will come to the root directory the moment you type here cd tilt symbol will come to the user home directory user home directory. home directory now i want to go to the particular folder i want to go then you can write here cd then slash home then slash cloud era sorry slash home then slash cloud era then we have our folder that is called as lb24 like this you can type it whatever folder you want it you can type it like this you can able to type it whatever folder you want it the moment you enter here now we'll see present working directory means we're able to see this is the folder if you want to come two steps back or one step back you can come back let's say cd suppose single dot i am writing single dot single dot i am writing single dot means meaning same directory single dot meaning what same directory that is the reason it won't move anywhere it won't move anywhere in the same directory it is located see here previously also same present working directory now also same present working directory any changes are there no. no single dot means what same directory single dot means same directory i want to come back one step one parent directory i want to come so who is the parent for lb2403 for this folder who is the parent 
cloud era. Cloud if I write here cd dot dot, then it will come to here. If you observe PWD, you can observe slash home slash cloud era. We are able to see it. Still, I want to come one step back. Then we write here cd dot dot. Now you can observe here. We are able to see slash home. Slash home. Okay, then we want to write one more step back, then CD. Then if you write here present working directory, we're able to see this one. This is called as root directory. Now, I don't want to type here three times. I don't want to type like this. For example, we are in this folder now. We are in this folder now. I want to come directly to the root directory. Directly to the root directory. Then what you can do? CD slash, we can write it. CD slash, if you write it, Directly will come to where? Root directory. Wherever you are available, doesn't matter. If you want to come to the root directory, just type the cd slash. Then it will come to the root directory. Will come. Okay, right. Let us say I am trying to go back again to this directory. Now, this time cd like this, I am writing it. Then tilt symbol. Wherever you are available, doesn't matter. C tilt symbol means coming back to where? user home directory use. yeah now for example again i am going back to this folder i want to use the cd dot dot notation and i want to come to the root directory at a time then how i can come cd dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot then <laughs> three steps it moved back three steps it moved back because three times i given dot dots i given so three steps, it's moved back. That's it. That's what, what we want to learn here. What is root directory? What is user home directory? User home directory. How to move, how to navigate one folder to another folder using CD, how to go forward, how to come backward. Now we know how to go forward using CD. You know how to come backward using CD dot dot. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Okay, that's it. That's what what you want to learn. In this first one that is called as. In the first one that is called as directories. We know now what you mean by directories. We know now what you mean by directories. Next is available something man and help already. I explained it. Okay, it's a manual. If you want to see the manual, you can able to see the manual. If you want to see the help document, you can see the help document. But most of the cases, help document is enough. We are able to, uh, as a developer, whatever information is required, most of the information is available in the help itself. Okay, right. If you want to do the deep dive, if you want to do it, then only you require manual. Next is available something called as VA editor. VA editor. So, VA editor, if you want to create some kind of files, you want to create it. Just now we used one of the command we used that is called as touch command we used, right? So, similar to that one, we have the VA editors are available. There are so many editors are available. There are so many editors are available in the market. If you go and try to type here, Linux editors. Okay. You can see Linux test editors, so many things. First one is available here. Uh, yeah, VA, VA or Vim editor, Nano editor, Get IT editor, Sublime test editor, VS Code, GNU, Autumn, what else not? See, big list is available. He has the patience of only writing 20. That's what he written the 20. It's not limited to 20 only. It's not limited to 20 only. In that one, one of the things we are trying to know about is that is called as what is the editor we are trying to know here? In that one, one of the editor we are trying to know that is called as what? VI editor. Yeah. We are seeing the heading here. The heading is VI editor. So in Linux editors are so many editors are available. Linux editors are so many editors are available. But we are concentrating on only one editor that is called as VA editor. There is no, no need to learn all the editors one by one. One editor is an available that is enough. Being a data engineering resource, Max, what we'll do is you'll open some notepads, you'll try to modify some content in that one. That much you need to know. That much you need to know. 
any file you should be able to open and should be able to modify some content inside that one. Okay, that much we can able to do using VA editor. In the VA editor, VA editor stands for visual editor and we have two modes in this one. One is called as command mode. Second is called as insert mode. Command mode, insert mode. How to identify it is in the command mode or insert mode, we have to see it. Now, simply we are trying to create here one file, then we are writing here VA, then name of the file. Like how you written the touch, the name of the file, how you written. Similar to that one, we are writing here VA and name of the file. Then to open the file in read only mode, you don't want to modify anything, you want to open read only, then you can write here iPhone R and file name. Then editing the file, editing the file, there are some important commands that are available. You can observe here. Colon Q is for the purpose of what? Quit. Quit. Are you are you saving and closing or without saving and closing? Yeah, without saving, we are closing. Just we are closing it. We are not saving anything. Suppose you written here WQ. WQ means what you are doing? Write and quit. That means what? Saving and closing. Saving and closing. There is a difference between colon Q, colon WQ. Now you want to just save it. Intermediate save, you want to do it. Just to write here colon W, then it saves, but it will, you will not come out of the file. You will be in the file only. It is intermediate save. Intermediate save. Now DD, DD is for to remove particular line. Any one line you want to remove, you can go ahead and you can remove it. YY to copy a particular line. P to paste the line. X to remove a character. Okay, if you want to set the number numbers, you want to set it. You can write here colon set n u. It is going to set the numbers. It is going to set for row numbers one, two, three, four. Like this is going to set it, so that at least we are doing the meetings. It is very useful. Okay, go to the twenty line number twenty, and that you need to correct it. Very easily we can tell it. Otherwise, you have to tell come down, come up, come down, come up. This all nuisance will happens. So whenever you are going for the Excel or Notepad. Make sure row numbers are displaying. Then very easily we can guide other user. Okay, go to the column E, go to the row 20, something like that. Very easily we can tell it. Okay, right. That is purpose. We, we can also set here number. We can set it by using set and you. If you want to navigate a line, uh, we can go for here slash n to go to the line number. Whichever line number you want to go, just you can type here line number. Then it go to that line number. I have 2000 lines are available. Directly, I want to go to the 1500 line. Just try, type here colon n and 1500, then we'll be in that line. So these are the some of the things what we have here. Let's go and try to experience these things. We'll open and we'll try to experience it. First, I'm trying to clear the screen. I'm clearing the screen. I'm navigating to. I'm navigating to. Our folder, our folder is this is our folder. Inside this folder, as of now, country folder is available. Apart from that one, nothing else. I want to create here. I want to create here one file. I want to create it. Let's try to create the file. So VI. And first, let's go and try to observe the help document also. So this is what the help document of VI. This is the help document of VI. You can see a lot of things. Okay, Vim. Okay, VI, VM, VM, if you say VIM or if you say VI, both are same. It is improved version. That is a uh, seven point four is a version what you are using and all. Uses VIM uh, file name, edit the specified file, something like that we have. So many arguments it supports here. iPhone V, iPhone V is nothing but VI mode. And E, S, D, Q, those all, a number of things are there. But mainly we need to understand here, few things whatever i said q w those things you need to understand it okay let's try to let's try to start creating one file va then i want to create a file that file is called as that file is called as parameter file you want to create it you want to create one parameter file you want to create it then we are writing here parameter parameter file we are trying to create it parameter file we are creating it the parameter file i'm using the type of the parameter file is equal to ml 
the parameter file type is equal to we are using as ml or json simply okay let's go for json base level generally people use json files people feeling bored with json 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 is something more brackets uh, flower brackets these all things are there right feel people will soon will feel like it's boring then advanced one to json is ml files are available ml file if you use it there is no brackets it is very user friendly file it is okay right yeah ml file will not feel uh, boring because it is a kind of our normal uh, notepad kind of thing okay now we are trying to create here one json file we are creating it let's say it's try to open here something like this now first question is i am in command mode or i am in insert mode first question is it is opened the file i am in command mode or i am in insert mode we saw two modes are available right command mode command yeah command mode in the bottom in the bottom if you see insert if you see insert then only you are in the insert mode in the bottom there is no insert word is available there is no insert word is available then we are in the command mode command mode command. now i am trying to type here i i stands for insert from the keyboard i am typing i the moment i typed i here you can see in the bottom what you are seeing it is now changed from command mode to insert mode command mode to insert mode i want to go back to i want to go back to command mode then what you can do you can type here you can type here escape now if you type here escape in the bottom whatever we have inside it's gone right that means we are in which mode now command mode command. if you want to come to the insert mode just type the i if you want to come out of it just type escape i means insert mode escape means command mode that's it now i want to be in the insert mode just i am typing here insert i from the keyboard i type here i suppose now i want to create here one uh, file i am creating it let's say it's a json file we are trying to create it so this is a json file the key of this one is equal to src underscore tzts okay then we are writing the colon then list of things we are going to create here so in this list we say this as a okay in this list we say this as a okay src file name src okay then file name is equal to i mean colon then we say this as a file1 dot txt okay then comma then we are writing here okay target target table name is equal to we are saying as okay emp is the target table name something like this we written here one json file the json file is available inside the list it is available and we are closing this one something like this we created something like this we created okay once we create this json file i want to save it I don't want to come out of it just i want to save it then press escape then colon w enter then what happened here this is saved you can see in the bottom what you're seeing written that okay. means what it's saved just you press the escape colon w that means it is saved it is saved but we did not come out of it i want to i want to add some more content here then you can go ahead here and you can add it it's called as intermediate save now i want to add here suppose schema name also i want to add here then schema name schema name is equal to for example we are saying as account payables account payables then we are saying something like this we are saying it now we written some more content i want to save it also i completed everything i want to come out of it then you can say as write it and also quit and completed my command if you complete your command you need to write the exclamation mark also something like this so write it and quit it write it and quit it that means save and come out of it then enter from the keyboard now you can see it's came out of it 
if you want to see what is the content available inside this one you can write here one more command is available cat command if you type here cat of this file you'll see on the screen you'll see what is the content available we are able to see on the screen and at any point of time again you want to modify yes you can go ahead and you can type here va and parameter file then we're able to uh, see this file at any, any point of time you want to come out of it by saving it then you can come out of it very simple very simple can you create any file can you create any file using vi yes yes yeah. please yes. Try, please try it if you face any issues let me know tomorrow we'll go for from fifth onwards we'll try to see it linux files i think linux files is nothing much you can able to try it touch command i'm explaining then cat command i'm explaining rm command these things you can able to practice it everything i i used it in fact cp copying the files from one location to another location we have it okay then we have move pattern paste kind of thing how to move from one one folder to another folder i think you can able to do it remaining things also if you face any problems tomorrow we'll walk through it uh, five minutes we'll spend and we'll try to walk through it and also one beautiful homework is available here everyone need to complete this one and share that screenshot with me in whatsapp groups okay so complete learning path and share the screenshot in whatsapp group this is the learning path here let me open so this is a microsoft given learning path get started with the linux commands line and the shell it won't take much time from your thing one hour 32 minutes okay you are very slow also two hours it is going to take it if you complete this two hours you'll be knowing basic linux commands you'll be knowing it by this time also you know now but what do you mean by basic linux commands but still you can able to practice and you can complete this learning path means you'll get master whatever you require for the data engineering okay thank you we'll meet tomorrow thank you sir yeah hello yeah yeah uh, where can we find the uh, notes github i'm using github only right same github okay